Diving in. The power of a strong start. Starting an essay can feel like taking a deep breath before a plunge into cold water. But just like that first plunge, a strong opening can invigorate your reader and set the stage for a captivating journey. It's your chance to grab their attention and make them eager to dive into the depths of your thoughts. Think of it as an invitation, a handshake, a promise of what's to come. A strong start can make all the difference in whether your writing gets read or ignored. Why is this so important? In a world flooded with information, readers have short attention spans. They crave content that grabs them from the get-go and keeps them hooked. A weak or rambling introduction can cause them to lose interest and move on, even if the rest of your essay holds brilliant insights. What are some of your favorite ways to start an essay or article? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 2. Section Intros. Guiding lights on your reader's journey. Just as a captivating opening draws readers into your essay, strong section introductions act as mini-openings, guiding them through the different stages of your argument or narrative. They provide a roadmap, signaling shifts in focus, introducing new ideas, and building a cohesive flow from one thought to the next. Without these guiding lights, readers can easily get lost in the wilderness of your words, unsure of where they've been or where they're going. Imagine reading a novel without chapter breaks or headings. The text would feel dense and overwhelming, making it difficult to follow the story's progression. Similarly, an essay without clear section introductions can feel jumbled and disjointed, leaving readers struggling to grasp the connections between different points. Each section intro should act as a bridge, smoothly transitioning from the previous section while also clearly establishing the focus of the upcoming one. What techniques do you use to ensure smooth transitions between different sections of your writing? Share your tips in the comments below. Section 3. Hooks and Bridges, Crafting Intros, That Flow We've talked about the importance of engaging openings and section introductions, but how do you actually craft these crucial elements in a way that feels natural and compelling? The key is to think of them as hooks and bridges. Hooks grab your reader's attention and reel them in, while bridges create smooth transitions and guide them seamlessly through your ideas. Hooks come in many forms. You can start with a thought-provoking question, a surprising statistic, a relatable anecdote, a vivid description, or even a bold statement that challenges conventional wisdom. The key is to choose a hook that aligns with your topic, writing style, and target audience. Once you've hooked your reader, you need to build a bridge to the main body of your essay or the next section. This is where transition words and phrases come in handy. They act as signposts, signaling to the reader that you're moving from one idea to the next. What are some of your favorite hooks and bridges to use in your writing? Share your examples in the comments below. Section 4. The Question Game. Sparking Curiosity and Thought. One of the most effective ways to engage readers and keep them hooked is to ask questions. Questions naturally pique our curiosity, prompting us to search for answers and engage with the material on a deeper level. When you pose a question in your writing, you invite readers to pause, reflect, and formulate their own thoughts and opinions, creating a more interactive and engaging reading experience. There are different types of questions you can use in your writing, each serving a different purpose. How do you use questions in your writing to engage your readers and encourage them to think critically? Share your techniques in the comments below. Section 5. Painting Pictures. Using imagery to captivate your audience. Imagine reading a book that's all tell and no show. The characters are flat, the setting is bland, and the plot unfolds like a dry historical account. Now imagine reading a book that's bursting with vivid descriptions, sensory details, and evocative language. The characters come to life, the setting feels real, and the story unfolds like a movie in your mind. That's the power of imagery. When you use imagery effectively, you transport your readers from the mundane world into the realm of your imagination, making your writing more engaging, memorable, and impactful. Instead of simply telling your readers about something, you're showing them, allowing them to experience it firsthand through the power of your words. What are some of your favorite ways to use imagery in your writing? Share your tips and examples in the comments below. Section 6. 
Finding your voice, infusing personality into your writing. Have you ever read a piece of writing that felt robotic, formulaic, and devoid of personality? It's like listening to a monotone lecture. The information might be there, but it fails to connect on an emotional level. Now, contrast that with a piece of writing that's brimming with personality, humor, and unique insights. It's like having a conversation with a friend, engaging, thought-provoking, and impossible to put down. That's the power of finding your voice in writing. It's about infusing your unique personality, perspective, and experiences into your words, making your writing stand out from the crowd and resonate with readers on a deeper level. Your voice is what makes your writing distinctly yours, setting you apart from all other writers and making your work truly authentic and compelling. Finding your voice is an ongoing journey of self-discovery, but there are a few things you can do to cultivate and strengthen it. How would you describe your writing voice? What steps have you taken to cultivate and strengthen it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Section 7. Rhythm and Flow. Keeping your readers engaged. Imagine listening to a song with no rhythm or melody. The notes might be technically correct, but the overall effect would be jarring and unappealing. Just as music relies on rhythm and melody to create a pleasing and engaging experience, writing relies on rhythm and flow to keep readers hooked. When your writing flows smoothly, it creates a sense of momentum and pulls the reader along, making it effortless to follow your train of thought. By varying your sentence length and structure, you can create a dynamic rhythm that keeps your writing from becoming monotonous. When your writing flows smoothly, readers can easily follow your train of thought and stay engaged with your message. What techniques do you use to create rhythm and flow in your writing? Share your tips and tricks in the comments below. Section 8. Examples and action learning from the masters. One of the best ways to improve your writing is to study the masters. By analyzing the techniques used by skilled writers, you can gain valuable insights into what makes writing effective and learn how to apply these techniques to your own work. Let's look at a few examples of how master storytellers craft compelling section introductions. In Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird, each chapter begins with a brief but evocative description that sets the scene and foreshadows the events to come. In J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, chapter breaks often coincide with cliffhangers or moments of heightened tension, leaving the reader eager to find out what happens next. This cliffhanger creates a sense of anticipation and compels the reader to turn the page to discover the source of Harry's astonishment. What are some of your favorite examples of compelling section introductions from literature? Share your findings and insights in the comments below. Section 9. Practice makes perfect honing your intro writing skills. Like any skill, writing compelling introductions takes practice. The more you write, the better you'll become at crafting hooks that grab your reader's attention and bridges that seamlessly transition between ideas. Here are a few exercises to help you hone your intro writing skills. First, choose a random topic and write five different hooks for it, experimenting with different approaches like questions, statistics, anecdotes, and vivid descriptions. What are some of your favorite writing exercises? Share your tips and challenges in the comments below. Section 10. Embracing the journey. Finding joy in the writing process. Writing can be a challenging but ultimately rewarding endeavor. It's a process of discovery, self-expression, and connection. As you embark on your writing journey, remember to be patient with yourself, embrace the ups and downs, and find joy in the process. Here are a few tips to help you cultivate a positive and productive writing practice. First, before you worry about pleasing anyone else, write for the sheer joy of it. Let your thoughts flow freely, experiment with different styles, and don't be afraid to make mistakes. What brings you joy in the writing process? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Section 11. Conclusion. Your guide to crafting compelling section intros. Mastering the art of writing. Engaging section introductions is crucial for creating captivating and easy-to-follow content. Now go forth and write with confidence.